Those are the sounds of Franklin of Elk Grove girls and boys wrestling teams. Both have been successful during the past seven seasons. Get takedowns. While under the leadership of head coach William Calvert. The boys and girls that are willing to put in uh, work year round, uh, weightlifting in the off season, conditioning, you know, strength and conditioning, that kind of thing. Uh, it's going to make them way more successful. Those are the ones that wind up being successful, the ones that are truly passionate about it and uh, make a big commitment to it. Because of the boys' and girls' success here at Franklin High School, expectations are high for this year as the boys and girls are expected to do well. Having uh, that expectation, it sets a standard for everyone else. And because we have teammates currently that are also highly ranked, um, uh, two boys and a girl. One uh, one boy's ranked number nine, and the other one is 16, and the girl's ranked number five. They set expectations themselves just being in the room. One of those team members with high expectations is Sterling Holmes, but what he hears during his matches is not the roar of the crowd or the screaming support of his teammates. Sterling is deaf and uses a transcription app to help him communicate. So what it does is when I speak or when somebody else speaks, it puts it on my phone as words so that I can use it. I find it helpful. I use it for normal day-to-day -day conversations, sometimes for school if my teachers allow me. It generally to get, helps me get around my day-to-day -day life in places where my hearing aid can't. But during his wrestling matches, Sterling can't use his app and must rely on visual coaching tips from his coach as his way of communicating. It's somewhat very detrimental because I can't hear my coaches on the side and they're trying to tell me something. So I'll be having struggling against an opponent and when normal wrestlers, the coach will be saying, put them in a half, get a single or something. I can't necessarily hear that. The way that we help, trying to help me with that this season, they want me to look over at them every 10 seconds to help out. As far as his teammates are concerned, they have been willing to do whatever it takes to help with his communication gap that is associated with being deaf. I think everybody here knows and has that a good of a heart to especially accept him. Obviously, we're going to accept him. But yeah, to change their ways of communicating, they're able to do that easily, and that's what I like about our team especially. Last year, I think I went 13 and 8. I would. It was rough in the beginning. I lost five straight matches before I started winning. But this year, I've seen a lot more success. My first two tournaments, first one, I got second place. This one, I got gold, and I'm wrestling at the varsity level now. So I'm very confident now. And the reason he chose wrestling after trying football and soccer mostly it's the individual victory of course when you win as a team that's your contribution to the team is what makes the team win when you win on your own it's your own contribution you can feel the, the um, results of your hard work when you win on your own so it's definitely getting down getting that pin hearing that five seconds of hit on the ground and getting that win in Elk Grove Del Rogers KCRA 3 sports just incredible, wow. right? Yeah, so cool. Well, yeah. the wrestling season for Franklin High School begins in January. I would want to wrestle that guy. He had some moves. If you have an athlete coach or team that you would like to nominate as a My58 Superstar of the Week, email us at superstars at kcra.com.